So, I was fired from my job, but it actually helped me launch my startup. Earlier this year, I started building a project, mostly for fun, something to scratch my own itch. And it turned out other people at least were semi-interested in it. The goal was I hated sending things like videos to people in emails, whether I was responding to them for support or a sales email or marketing, whatever that might be, just any kind of follow-ups. I just really hated saying, okay, here's this long email Here's a whole bunch of links. Here's a video that I created. Hopefully you understand everything. So I built a tool that enabled you to kind of create customized web pages as a response. And the goal was as you're responding to someone, whether that's a customer, friend, colleague, whatever, you would be able to use your own feeds of information that you've created or someone else's and kind of take that template, personalize it and send it off. So that way it feels personal, but it's a little bit more than like a snippet of text and a little bit less than the whole knowledge base article, for example. The goal was being able to build out these medium pieces in the flow of work. And it got a little traction. The customers that I was kind of interviewing on the side said that, hey, this would be useful. But as I was showing people the tool, and this is the wrong way of going about this, I should have done this at the beginning, I was learning that it wasn't exactly what people wanted, or at least they weren't understanding the whole, whole vision for the tool in that specific segment of the market. It seemed like I didn't know where product market fit was for this particular tool. And it kind of just got pushed by the wayside. I started building other tools. I started experimenting and I still use that for ways of showing off. Okay, hey, here's how to do X, Y, and Z within our tool. So I was still being able to dog food my own project, my own product. I liked it. And then fast forward a little bit, I got fired and I needed to apply for jobs. So what did I do? I used the tool that I built because it was the easiest way of creating customized pages in a personalized way and doing it in a replicable way so that I didn't have to spend too much time for every single job application. And then I posted about it. Now, this is where I think learning in public is so, so, so important. In fact, I even have it on my wall right here. Learn out loud. People aren't going to know what you're doing unless you tell them this is what you're doing. So I made a post on Twitter, X, and I talked about the things I'm doing differently applying for a job this time around. And one of the things I'm doing differently is I'm building out personalized web pages specific for a job application just with a little intro video talking about myself, talking about why I think I would be a good fit for that particular company. And I used my tool, Jiffy, to do it. And it resonated with people. Building in public, learning in public, and learning out loud helped me to find a way to use my tool that fit with people's way of thinking. So what did I do? I tried to move as quickly as possible. I built a website. I talked to a few people and I'm making this video where I'm learning that, hey, if you build in public, if you take steps to find product market fit, but it doesn't seem there, sometimes you have to pivot. And sometimes that pivot comes just from building in public. I wouldn't have known that this was actually something that fit or resonated with most people. And in fact, now I'm learning that a lot of people want to use a tool like this for things like email follow-ups in a way that I didn't think about using the tool before. The key is whether you think you have product market fit for your particular application, for your particular product, or maybe you already do, keep building in public, keep talking about it, keep listening and keep learning.